I am using this soft rock ensemble to evaluate the noise floor and the point of saturation when it is used together with different sound cards. This is a Steinberg UR12. Uh, it has two channels, one here and one there, with different kinds of connectors. You can see the red light is shining on one of them and not on the other. On the Linrad screen I see the uh, image suppression is extremely poor and looking at the margins you can see that channel 1 is 0.66 dB from saturation while channel 2 is 8 dB and a little more. So I have to set the gain controls differently this one is at minimum and this one also but I have to turn it up uh, while looking at the saturation point I can set it to oops too far clear that that's 0.89 uh, is pretty close doesn't have to be very exact this is good enough uh, and you can see now the image suppression is pretty good. Uh, I change now the frequency. Stepping in, I don't remember, step size, something. And you can see image suppression degrades. If I look at the margins here, press Z, you can see that the difference between the channels is uh, half a dB and I go further away and press Z and now you can see the difference is above 1 dB. That is a little bit ugly but it's not a problem with Linrod because Linrod has a cal calibration procedure to take care of this kind of things. To calibrate I press X and then C for calibrate and then A and here is the calibration routine it says overload so I go down 2 decibels and now I just have to step the frequency in some reasonably sized steps and maybe it is visible that the dots change from red and to green Now the entire curve is green, so looking here, I press U, that is to compute the correction. And you can see it looks really ugly. Uh, here, amplitude and phase. There is some little problem here that I could correct, but I don't worry about that. Uh, this is good enough for what I want to do. So I press any key and then S to save. S to save. And back to processing. And here is the result. The signal is here and the mirror is there. So it has uh, a little bit more than 60 decibel mirror image suppression. It can be done better. Some more segments and uh, maybe uh, a more careful choice of the position within the segments. Anyway, you can see the mirror image is weak. It's down at 50 dB while the signal is at about 130. So this is good enough for me to measure the level of this uh, accurately. I have calibrated the S meter to show minus 20 dBm. And that's the level I have on the signal generator which is directly connected to the soft rock. And the margins here are 0.7 dB so it's close to saturation. 
Switching off the generator gives me the noise floor. And it's not bad. I have to wait. Okay. Minus 127.9. I have connected a good crystal oscillator and set it to a high signal level and placed it fairly far from the center. And you can see here there are noise humps. This is phase noise on the sampling clock and this degrades the noise floor, of course, so it is no longer as good as uh, it looked. We are around uh, minus 124. So there is a problem with this unit, although 124 is not too bad. Here is a Sound Blaster USB. Uh, the driver updater from Creative tells me it is a SB Live 24-bit external. And the updater found uh, new drivers for me, so I install them. Now I get this message. Uh, upgrade to Windows Vista or later, but I am running Windows 7 Ultimate. So, something is wrong uh, with the updater from uh, Creative. Line in on the back here, uh, maximum level here, and I have set it to run at 96 kilohertz, 24 bit. And this is what I see on the screen. The margin is half a dB, so this looks very promising. The signal level is minus 18 dBm, that's the maximum for the soft rock. And that's the point where the margin for saturating the sound card is half a dB only. I have set the S meter to show minus 18 dBm and switch off the generator. And here we have the noise floor. Uh, which is minus 124 dBm. Now, as you can see, it is a little bit going up towards the ends of the spectrum, and it might be fair to look here instead. And the difference is not very large, maybe a dB. From here to here, minus 124.9. I will take that as the noise floor for this sound card. Here is an M-Track quad uh, running at minus 18 dBm. The amplitude margin is 1 dB or 1.2 dB. It varies a little bit with the frequency. Uh, not really important. You can see it if I switch off here that the level is a little bit higher than here. This will be corrected by the calibration function of Linrod and uh, it will make the dynamic range flat over the whole frequency range. The signal level, uh, 18 dBm, is also reflected by what I see on the S meter. Well, minus 18. So I switch off the signal. And here we see the noise floor. It's normal what we have on these 24-bit sound cards. 126.1 or maybe 0.2. I try once more. 126.2 Here is a Sound Blaster Live 5.1 Digital uh, The 
SB Live here uh, is a 48 kilohertz uh, card, but it is reported to have four bytes in port audio. Uh, probably it has 16, but there is something wrong in the reporting. The signal level is minus 18 dBm. Uh, I have set the gain for half a dB in margin to saturation on the AD converter. That's by the line in uh, volume control here. Uh, the S meter is calibrated and it shows minus 18 dBm. So I switch off the signal generator to find the noise floor. And it's this is a little bit different from the 24 bit bit cards, but not terribly much. Minus 117.2. And I have selected the frequency near the center where the noise floor is lowest. Uh, at the sides it is about 10 dB worse. But when using as a radio you will have to place the signal of interest within this region here, I mean from here to here, or on the other side. Uh, so this old 16-bit 48 kilohertz card, it's not so bad, and you can get them on the junkyard I guess for nothing.